has done over the last one year, Mr. Speaker, the cost of living would be much lower and some people will not be living in the houses they are living up on hills. I want to congratulate the County Assembly of Meru that whatever the outcome of today, they should not go home feeling that they did the wrong thing, they, they, they undertook their constitutional mandate. Mr. Speaker, today we are damned if we do, we are damned if we don't. Let me make it clear. The misogyny that has been demonstrated in some of the videos, the chauvinism, the incitement to tribal hatred, has no place in a modern Kenya. And Mr. Speaker, those are things that we should not be massaging. Those are criminal actions. Gender-based violence is such a grave criminal action that if I had an option to ask the governor a question, I would have asked whether she reported those matters to the police because impunity breeds in silence. Mr. Speaker, from the submissions, it appears as if everybody in Meru is mad. We are in a season of madness in Meru. And that, Mr. Speaker, the only sane person in Meru today is the governor and the spouse. That is what has come out of the submission. But, Mr. Speaker, could that be true? That all the great men and women of Meru, including the deputy speaker of this house, are mad, are in a season of madness, and the only lucid person can be the governor? Mr. Speaker, that presupposes and that indicates there's a big, big problem that an, uh, uh, an impeachment cannot solve. Mr. Speaker, we have a patient with two damaged kidneys. We take out one kidney, the patient will not survive. You take out the governor, you leave the assembly, you still have a problem. You remain, you reinstate the, the kidney, the, which is the governor, you still have a problem. Mr. Speaker, Article 192 says that where a county government has irretrievably broken down, that county should be suspended that county should be sent to a fresh election. And Mr. Speaker, even though we do not have the original jurisdiction on that, I want to encourage the citizens of Meru to call for a suspension of the county government, to send Governor Kawira Mwangaza back to the people, and to send the MCS back to the people. We have been told a lot of stories about who is popular and who is not popular. But finally, Mr. Speaker, let us not forget that in 2010, this nation discharged Nancy Baraza of a role as a Deputy Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Kenya on very spurious allegations. But that has set a precedent that has been part of our jurisprudence. If we were to go with that threshold, then Governor Kawira Mwangaza should go home. Senator Wakoli. <laughs> Asante, Mweshimua Speaker. Na shukuru sana kwa nafasi.